Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm back How with you. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, ma'am. Now I'm back you. with other questions, ma'am. Other topic. Most interesting good. topic. Male infertility, ma'am. Very good. So Just I would like good. to ask you some questions please about that. Ask. Please ask. Okay, ma'am. Shall we start, ma'am? Yeah, please. Ma'am, actually, what is male infertility, ma'am? Male infertility if the count is less or the motility is less. Yes. So according to the WHO, World Health Organization, 2010, it has been defined that semen count and the semen analysis, the normal criteria, should be 14 million per ml. Okay. the concentration with 20% forward progressive motility and 20% a slow progressive motility total motility should be 40% okay. and at least minimal 4% of the spermatozoa should be normal okay. before that the criteria was different and 20 million was a cut of point but now, because the male infertility is on race, and the reason why the semen count is reducing day by day, so the WHO is now brought down the criteria and the cutoff point for the concentration of a normal semen analysis. You may be asking me, why the count is reducing every day yes, and it is very scary and is also very interesting to know each one person and each one man each man has got a count of one tenth of his grandfather if the normal count a decade ago was a hundred million oh. now it is ten million you can see it is a havoc and you may be wondering to know the reason. Yes ma'am. The okay. reason what is being described because uh, we published a lot of work and after I came back from London this is the first research which I picked up in Mohammed that was fascinating because every patient would come to me they were having a look at. And in fact, when I called Dr. Mabel Jameson, the head and the chairman of the HIFE from United Kingdom to inaugurate our IVF lab at Mohammed Hospital, I asked Mabel, when do you think we can get macro manipulator for Hyderabad and for our Mohammed Center? And she says after 10 years. And this did not happen. It happened after one year. So, because there was a necessity, the male infertility so much and so much increasing, and now I will tell you the reason. Okay. What scientific, the, the scientists, they have explained the scientific reason behind that. They said the Y chromosome is a very, very unstable chromosome. And thus, deletion. There are regions for the spermatogenesis on the Y, the long arm of the Y chromosome, which it is getting disappeared. Okay. So the scientists, they describe this is part of the evolution, like Darwin evolution, what yeah. is it? This is also, they say, is a part of the evolution. Oh, okay. But the actual fact remain is because of evolution. Okay. It's because of the open secret is because of pesticide. Okay. Now you look at the groundwater, you look at our food, yes, you look at the air, everywhere polluted. Okay. Pesticide. Pesticide in the body of the both men and in the body of the both women, it gets converted to a molecule which is similar to estrogen. And that is called xenoestrogen estrogen hormone which is foreign to the body and this will cause breast cancer, 
Oh, this indeed. will cause uterine cancer, endometrial cancer, endometriosis, increased incidence of the anovulation, increased incidence of the female infertility, and it will also damage the Y chromosome because of mutation, and therefore the spermatogenesis genes will get disappear, and therefore oligospermia, and therefore sometimes azoospermia, no sperms at all, because it will affect also the fetus inside the mother's uterus. That is why, as a caring obstetrician, we insist on the pregnant ladies not to use certain things like seafood, we tell them not to eat. At least to some extent we can help them. Yes. Or early marriages, very important. Oh. Because this is pollution is really uh, speaking out of control. Yes, there is a very sharp et al. in Edinburgh where he has done a lot of research on these xenoestrogen and the pesticides. And he did the research and they noticed that homosexuality incidence is increasing amongst the birds, amongst the animals in the jungle, in the forest of Europe and forest of the United States. Why the homosexuality is increased? Again, it's because of the elevation of the estrogen in the body of these birds, this body of these animals, because of the polluted water, because of the polluted sea, because of polluted ground, ground water, polluted ocean water, because of all these factors, the homosexuality increase incidence amongst the animal and amongst the bird. Okay. Therefore, you can see what is happening to us. So we are also exposed to the same problem. Question, what is the main causes of male infertility, ma'am? The main, actually, if you consider uh, and you look at the patients with oligospermia or azoospermia, as I uh, spoke about this pesticide, there are other things like uh, infection or chitis or basically the infection of the vas or the uh, in infection of the testicle, hydrocele, or basically it could be um, uh, azoospermia, where azoospermia, there is an obstructive azoospermia, where the ductus difference, uh, vas difference is being closed because of the infection, or non-obstructive azoospermia, where it is a genetically determined condition like uh, is, uh, basically the Sertoli cell syndrome or a spermatogenesis arrest, all these are could be a genetic. Also could be a chromosomal problem, like Klinefelter syndrome 47XXY, where they have a large breast, they are tall uh, men, but they are having azoospermia, they don't have any sperm count. Okay. So chromosomal, genetic, infection, and Pollution, these are the major causes of the male infertility. Within our own limits, we have to tell them to uh, stop wearing a tight underwear and at least one hour sit in the cold water because the heat of the, the temperature of the testicle compared to other part of the body, other part of the body, the temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. The testicle temperature is 36 degrees. One, one the basically degree is lesser than the other part. So if they sit in the cold water, that uh, stimulates the spermatogenesis. Okay. One centigrade, it is lesser. These are home so remedies here, ma'am? This is medically? No, it is a home remedy. It's a home remedy, but actually, for a male infertility, the best thing is a treatment, IUI, intrauterine yeah. insemination, or if the count is very less, or if they are azoospermy, then they have to go for an ICSI. Okay. ICSI, if they are azoospermy, they have to do the testing, or they, we have to do the PSA, the, uh, basically percutaneous epididymal aspiration, or testicular aspiration with a needle, or biopsy, and the success rate is excellent. Uh, with the IC side. Okay. Where, yeah. And uh, if there are non obstructive azoospermia, then multiple sites you have to do the biopsy and then pulling these sperms and do the IC side, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Actually, IC side is being invented and is pioneered because of these men. 
It is that is the only purpose where it was pioneered uh, by Palermo in Netherlands. Uh, that is in 1992. And what is the symptoms of this infertility man? How can man can recognize that he is infertile? First of all, they have to have a proper sexual function after the marriage, if they don't have adequate intercourse and there is no erection or there is no uh, basically ejaculation, so these are the signs of that she may be having, he may be having some kind of uh, sexual dysfunction. And then if they are having any doubt, then the ejaculated semen has to be given for the analysis after three days of the abstinence. Okay. And the volume should be three to five ml the pH should be alkaline and the count I told you 14 to 15 million yeah, okay. per ml with the 40 percent uh, total uh, progressive motility and 4 percent normal. Okay. Ma'am, what are the treatments for infertility, ma'am? Male infertility? You mean to say the medical uh, treatment? Yes, medical yes, treatment. Maybe sometime three or four months before they go for the IUI or they go for the ICSI, we have to advise them to give them clomiphenicitrate, 25 mg. It will be given for almost three to four months. So the count and the motility is increased, uh, but then sometimes the pregnancy rate uh, may not improve much. Okay. The other thing is uh, antibiotic. If the count is less because of the orchitis, uh, then it is important to do the semen culture and we have to give them at least three, four months antibiotic because there are testicular blood barrier where the antibiotic, it will reach the site of the infection in a longer period. So this antibiotic has to be given minimum for three to four months. There are other things like coenzyme, like CoQ4 available in the market where we give them. Or uh, Steven Ford, which is a Himalaya product, also we give them. There are also HCG 5000 twice a week, we give them for three months. Oh. Where it stimulate the spermatogenesis before IUI or IVF is very useful, we give them. Okay, first we go with medicines, no? First we go for medicine because all of them they deserve little count and the fertilizing power of the semen should be improved. Oh, okay, ma'am. With the antibiotic, with HCG, with kilometer citrate. Okay, we have so sometimes, many options. Sometimes the urologists they advise variculosectomy, where the result of the variculosectomy is very, very controversial. Mostly all the success of the variculosectomy and ICSI success or IUI, the one thing, it depends on one factor. Okay. Can any of you tell me what is that factor? If we do ICSI, out of 10 patients, okay. 3, 4, they get conceived. Oh. What is that important factor which play the most important role in the success of ICSI? What is it? No, no. It's the age of the wife. Oh. That is why our, what these interviews I'm giving just now to yes, do, is what? To increase the awareness. Yes, ma'am. These patients, instead of when the wife age become 40, she come to me for success, it's very difficult to get success. Okay. Yes. But if she is about 25 or 30, it's easy to treat mm -hmm. and it's easy to get success. Mashallah, you are uh, giving very brief explanation on every topic, ma'am. I give you like, the key point. I give you the yes, key yes, point. We are advising the public, we are advising the patient in a correct direction. Yes, ma'am. It's very good job, ma'am. Mashallah. Ma'am. Ma'am, last uh, anything else you want to tell us? Yes, very important. Whenever we advise, a couple when they come to us for the treatment seeking infertility treatment of the one year of the marriage and the wife is not conceived the first thing advice is given for the semen analysis i strongly advise please do not avoid it you do it because the earlier we know where we are standing with the husband semen and what is the report so that we can plan the treatment correctly, the more better. And don't get panic. And one thing very important, I have given this advice strongly to the both wife and the husband, 
if there is a problem with the husband and suppose he does not have a sperm and suppose he is as a spermia case the wife must not disclose this matter this news to anybody after marriage the problem remain both with husband and wife similarly if the wife has a problem if there is a bad news if she has got a tubal block i advise the husband do the same thing yes. and keep the matter instead of spreading the news that my wife has a problem my wife has a tubal fracture tubal block my husband has got as a sperm why no need the treatment is so good the treatment is so successful that earlier you come to an expert earlier you come to us with your success your family is being made and the chapter is closed instead of involving the family involving them making a big news making a big issue please don't do that to be together of their marriage everything belong to both of you wife problem is husband problem husband problem is wife problem you get to stay united and then results will be very very fruitful and good thank and you. thank you very much thank you so much ma'am it was nice session with you ma'am inshallah we'll get back to you with other uh, interesting topic thank you so much ma'am